Ehi will look to go to 2 and 0 this week as they host Turkey Valley. They had a 66 to 18 win in week number 1 over Tripola. Head coach Chad Winters joining us and I know uh, coach we talked about the uh, positives of having a returning uh, starting quarterback. Is it fair to say Dalton Mutterman uh, picked up where he left off uh, last year and then some in week 1? Most definitely. Um, game game slowing down for him. He's he's processing stuff a lot quicker. I mean, you just take that growth that he had from his sophomore year to his junior year, and, and you hope he has the same growth from his junior year to his senior year. Um, threw some real good balls. One or two he might want back. Uh, very 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 efficient in the in the pass and run game for him on Friday night against Tripola. And uh, probably what gets overshadowed was his defensive performance at uh, 10 tackles, uh, eight solo tackles, three tackles for a loss. Uh, obviously, uh, that side of the ball matters, too. Uh, what made uh, Dalton's defensive performance uh, that good? Uh, does a good job of reading keys. Um, <clears throat> he uh, understands what the other team's trying to do out of formations. Um, got a couple new linebackers starting next to him that um, – haven't necessarily played the linebacker position a, a ton. Um, kind of moved it down from DB down to linebacker, um, making sure that everybody around him is is lined up correctly is, is a big part of it. Um, when everybody's doing their job, our, our middle linebacker should be making a lot of tackles, and and he flies to the ball and and gets guys on the ground right away, and that, that's obviously very beneficial to our defense. And within the passing game itself, you had four different receivers uh, catch passes. Uh, two different receivers catch at least two touchdown passes. How important is it to uh, establish multiple threats that uh, a team can't just shut down one receiver and shut down you guys? It, it, it's vital to have multiple weapons in, in the pass and run game. Um, Carter's got the stats coming back from it from last year um it was good to see jordan step into that that role and kind of be the complimentary piece this week um we feel that we've got multiple other guys that can play that role just depending on what types of looks the defense gives us and what opportunities that certain guys are given uh we feel comfortable throwing five six guys out there running routes hard and and being able to make plays on the ball and overall, in the running game, you averaged 5.4 yards per carry. Looking at things from a macro perspective, is that the type of consistency uh, you want to see uh, play in and play out when you uh, put the ball on the ground? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want you want to you want to stay as positive there as we can. Uh, we weren't as fit efficient there as we needed to be last year, ex especially against um, the better teams on our schedule. Uh, Obviously, we're able to move the ball through the air, but that's kind of been a point of emphasis. And you get in a situation where you need to grind that clock a little bit, get a short third third down conversion, fourth down conversion, goal line conversion. But those are things that that we need to get better at and have seemed to taken a step forward this year. And obviously, coaches are perfectionists. Uh, we've talked about a lot of positives because there were a lot of positives in week number one. Uh, after looking at the film, uh, what are some things that uh, you need to get better at uh, as you proceed into week number two? Just worrying about us. I mean, making sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing every single play. Um, the couple breakdowns that we did have, uh, guy, guys just got in too big of a hurry. And all of a sudden, a big cutback lane opened up and we flew out of there because we thought the back was gone. And and as we get more experience with that, with guys at those positions, those plays aren't going to happen. Um, did have a couple of times where we had opportunities to get guys on the ground. The first chance we didn't, guys flew to the ball. We were able to get the guys on the ground for the most part, except for one cutback run. Um that that continues to need needs to continue to get better for us if, if we're going to compete for a district title. How do you go about establishing that trust uh, with a bunch of uh, newcomers and a new different unit on defense, trusting uh, the fact that if I stay in my lane, I might not make the tackle, but my teammate will. But the next time, if he stays in his lane, he might not make the tackle that I will. How do you go about establishing that trust? Does it just come with game experience? It, it, it does. I mean, it, it, that's the beauty of football, too. I mean, it's you got seven guys that do a perfect job on every play. One guy doesn't do his responsibility or tries to overcompensate and cover up for another guy. It, it seems to find that spot.
I mean, more often than not. And as long as they continue to grow, have some growth in that trust department, everybody gaps down, good things typically happen on defense. And, and then the, the last part of that is just pursuing to the ball every single snap, not taking plays off, because that's that's where you're going to make up for mistakes. The open up district play this week as Turkey Valley comes to town. What are you expecting out of the Trojans? Turkey's tough. I mean, I, I think they played a, a team in Fremont Mills. That's uh, You watch the type of team that they had to play on Saturday night down in Des Moines, and, and Fre Fremont Mel Mills is going to pose a lot of problems for a lot of teams. And they got athletes all over the field. Um, I, th I think a team like Turkey Valley with no seniors on it, it you're going to see a ton of growth from week to week to week with them. Um, they got some really good football players that junior and sophomore class have been very good throughout their junior high and JV days. And, and, and they're coming into their own um, boost to throwing for over 200 yards, JD having 190 yards receiving uh, fullback sophomore fullback friends. And I believe is his name runs hard, got a couple other backs that run hard. It, it's Turkey Valley. They do what they do and they do it well. They're well coached and it's a huge district matchup for us. All right, uh, Coach, try to be a fun one at uh, your home place uh, Friday night. Keep your guys healthy. We wish you best of luck. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it. Chad Winters, head coach of Key High, Key High and Turkey Valley, Friday night.